Hello, welcome to today's session. My name is Paul Benyon. I'm a sales engineer at Hard Dollar Corporation. Today's session is going to cover how you can access third-party data from a, a database that's included in Hard Dollar from RS Means, which contains 200,000 different items that you can draw from for anything that you might not have in your own cost database as you're putting your estimates together. The example that we're going to use is adding to an existing item, in this case clearing and grubbing. You'll notice that I have a taken off quantity in there, but I don't have any costs at this point. So to get my cost information, I'm going to go up to the data source menu and select to add a subordinate to the selected cost item from, in this case, RS Means. And when I access this, it brings up a directory to access the RS Means cost books of data. And as you can see, Hard Dollar contains all the cost books that are published by RS Means. You can see as well that we have uh, updates regularly for the RS Means data. As soon as we receive them, we pass those on to our customers. There's also the ability to uh, put in the city cost index by uh, either a national average or you can select from the United States and Canada and go to the specific state and city or province and city and uh, select the particular area that city cost index so that the appropriate rates come in uh, for the item that you have selected. We're going to go ahead and rather than the, using the electrical cost book, it makes more sense, we're going to use the civil cost book and come down to my earthwork directory. And when I drill in on that, you, I find that there's a clearing and grubbing section that I can drill into, as you can see here. So for clear and grub site, once I've drilled in far enough on the left, I can then minimize that down and find the right parameters, the right variables for clearing grubbing that match what I'm doing. In this case, uh, we're going to do this regular clearing and grubbing with some removal of trees, 48 inch diameter. I want to add that item, which I simply do by hitting the add button here below, and it brings in that item. I can go ahead and enter in the takeoff quantity at this point, and I can also tell it to bring in any resources labor, uh, materials, equipment, if any, applies. So once we've selected the item, I simply click the OK button, and we'll now see that item populate, bring it right into my estimate for me. So if we now look at this item, we see clearing and grubbing shows up um, with that RS Means item. If I open up the actual cost item record, we can see that it brought in an entire crew of labor, equipment, all the appropriate resources with the right quantities of them. And then over here on the far right, we see it also brought in the production value that we're able to do two each per day. Or in this case, I can come in here and actually adjust my unit of measure. Um, in this case, it's trees, but if it needed to be acres, whatever it might be, I can make those adjustments along with any adjustments, other adjustments that I may need to make on the fly if I see that these rates might not be the most accurate ones, I have the freedom and flexibility to be able to come in and for any one of these items, go ahead and adjust the rate. So if this lab the common building laborers need to be adjusted from $51 per hour to say $40 per hour, I can simply make those changes, those kinds of changes on the fly. Also changes to my productivity if it turned out that we can do three acres per day, for example. So this covers the ability to be able to take advantage of third-party cost data for any items that you might not have information for and to incorporate it right into your estimate and then have the freedom to make any changes as needed to the rates, the crew, or the production. That wraps up the session. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you next time.